Welcome back to Base Watches, your ultimate guide to all things timekeeping. Today, we're embarking on an out of this world journey as we explore the top 5 moon watches for men that you can still add to your collection in 2024. These watches not only tell time, but also carry a piece of history, inspired by humanity's fascination with space exploration. From iconic designs to innovative features, each of these timepieces offers a unique blend of style and functionality. Join us as we delve into the lunar realm and uncover the best of the best moon watches for men in 2024. Whether you're an avid collector or simply intrigued by the mystique of the cosmos, these selections are sure to leave you starry-eyed. So without further ado, let's launch into this celestial adventure with base watches. The Frederic Constant Classic Moon Phase is an elegant and sophisticated timepiece known for its classic design, reliable movement, and the addition of a moon phase complication. Coming in at 40.5 x 47 x 12.77 mm, the Classic Moon Phase is a robust dress and formal watch that wears a bit smaller than expected. The design, as the name indicates, is classic in styling with thick, near straight lugs coming out of a rounded case. The mid-case bezel, sapphire, and case back all elegantly curve, creating very attractive fluid surfaces that belie the 40mm diameter. It is, but once again, the smoothness of the sides makes it look and feel less so. Moreover, part of the thickness is thanks to the hunter case back, a detail I particularly love. The dial of the classic moon phase has a tried and true design, closely resembling that of a 50s Patek. This is both the good and bad about the watch. It's a great look and a design that is as handsome here on the FC as the Patek. Me, you and likely everyone we know are not going to be getting their hands on the Patek, lest they have a few hundred grand to spare. Moreover, you'll enjoy seeing this on your wrist, and it's still in the end a sort of generic look for the time period. Also, it might very well be the only reasons one is interested in this watch in the first place, but a lack of originality is always unfortunate, and a bit of an issue with the brand in general. Powering the classic moon phase, is the FC 715 caliber. The difference between the 715 and 705 found in the slimline is the central seconds. So variation on a caliber new caliber you choose. Either way, it's a gorgeous movement, as previously noted, and an uncommon value for an in-house movement. In conclusion, the Frederic Constant Classic Moon Phase is a refined and elegant timepiece that combines classic design with the fascination of the moon phase complication. Elegant and sophisticated, the Glashuda Original Panamatic Lunar is a timepiece that effortlessly marries tradition and innovation. With a sizable 40mm case available in steel, yellow gold, or rose gold, the watch comfortably asserts its presence on the wrist. Its captivating dial, punctuated by a visually striking off-center hour, minute, and second hands layout, is an homage to the signature Glashuda style. The moon phase complication nestled at 2 o'clock captures the allure of the cosmos. The silver moon and stars perfectly contrasted against a night blue sky. Alongside it is the large deep display, another feature which underscores the brand's commitment to functionality and style. The watch is powered by the automatic caliber 90-2, a superb example of Glashota watchmaking excellence, with a 42-hour power reserve. This mechanical marvel is visible through the sapphire crystal case back, revealing a classic three-quarter plate glass shutter ribbing and double sunburst decoration, a screw balance with 18 weighted screws, and hand-engraved balance bridges. The Glashuda Original Panamatic Lunar is an elegant, finely crafted timepiece that serves as a testament to German watchmaking tradition. Its unique dial design, coupled with the exceptional quality of its build and movement, make it a watch worthy of consideration. The Panamatic Lunar's charm is undeniable and worthy of consideration for any watch enthusiast. The GGR Le Coulter Master Ultra Thin Moon is a prestigious and exquisitely crafted timepiece produced by the renowned Swiss luxury watchmaker, GGR Le Coulter. This watch is celebrated for its elegance, slim profile, and the addition of a moon phase complication, making it a classic choice for watch enthusiasts and collectors alike. Even though there's nothing particularly revolutionary about the dial, GGR Le Coulter have a way of perfecting the simple details. The balance is intoxicating, for example, the dotted minute markers where batons may have taken up too much visual real estate. The thin bezel means that the dial itself is larger than you may expect for a 39mm. 
increasing its wrist presence without sacrificing fit or comfort. Not beating around the bush, the case is basically perfect, with a 39mm diameter and a lug to lug of under 46mm to fit on almost any wrist with grace. Of course, it wouldn't be called ultra thin if it wasn't so, and while the 9.3mm thickness isn't ridiculously thin like we're used to seeing, it appears even slimmer thanks to the vintage style case profile. Through the Cephir case bag, you can see the Gigier LeCoultre Caliber 925AA, with tastefully lavish striped decoration across the skeletonized winding rotor and the movement itself. When held vertically, the pattern on the rotor aligns with the plates for a very satisfying effect. The Automatique Loon replaces comes in 40mm and 42mm platinum or red gold cases with solid gold galvanized silver dials. Although it respects the layout of the former edition, there are some BIG changes, and we're not just referring to the new 42mm case size. For one, the patented large date aperture has been enlarged and now measures 4.7mm x 2.6mm. Positioned between 4 and 5 o'clock is a delightfully delicate small seconds display. It is presented on a subtly snailed subdial, framed with a Kemen de fur and features a second hand equipped with an open worked counterweight. A moon phase indicator is located between 6 and 8 o'clock. This crescent-shaped aperture reveals a depiction of the nocturnal sky, delicately adorned with a depiction of the moon and numerous stars. The Francois Paul Jern Octa Automatique Lune Havana dial is equipped with a prodigious power reserve of 120 hours. This is displayed on a smooth power reserve indicator with a small facsimile of the hour hand imparting the available energy. The graceful arcing trajectory of the hand seems congruent with the overall tasteful mean of the watch. A big date display is positioned between 11 and 12 o'clock. The two discs, one for the tens and one for the units, sit closely together with no discernible difference in height. The single aperture proclaims the two digits in seamless union with only the faintest line revealing that this display is composed of two discs, not one. In conclusion, the Francois Paul Jern Automatique Loon is a masterpiece of horology, combining elegant design, innovative movement, and a meticulously crafted moon phase complication. A complicated-looking, classically designed timepiece is a welcome addition to any watch collection, and something like this Longin Master Collection Moon Phase Chronograph is a solid and affordable way to include such an item into your collection. It contains the Swiss-made ETA Valju 7751, which is modified to become the Longin Caliber L687. My first ever complicated watch included a Valju 7000, 751, and I think it is a very effective way to enjoy a good volume of complications without crossing into the price spectrum of hot horology products. Longin is no stranger to the 7000, 751 movement family, having featured these movements in various Master Collection timepieces for years now. The success of combining the Master Collection timepiece aesthetic with the features in the 7000, 751 movement is proven. This particular model comes in with an elegantly decorated movement and a very sensible 40mm wide case, which is about as small as you can get given the size of the movement itself. At 40mm wide, this is the smallest master collection watch I've worn that contains a 7,751 based movement inside of it. The challenge with a 40mm wide case is that it must look proportional given the relatively high nearly 14mm thick case, which is made necessary by the movement. This is less of an issue with a wider 42mm wide or larger case. What Longin does in order to visually reduce mass is to highly round both the polished steel bezel as well as the case back. To the eyes, this technique results in a case that appears less thick than it actually is. In conclusion, the Longin Master Collection Chronograph is a distinguished and well-crafted timepiece. Whether you're a collector seeking an elegant and functional chronograph or an enthusiast in search of a versatile and reliable watch, the Master Collection Chronograph offers a compelling blend of aesthetics, functionality, and craftsmanship. <laughs>